Hey guys, how's it going and thanks for coming. I'm Nick and this is Real Life Money where we talk about real life and money because you know schools aren't. Don't forget to subscribe so let's get started. So in this video guys, we're going to mix some things up a bit because I saw a couple of videos a day or two ago talking about something. So I wanted to give my response because it definitely hits me at a personal level because I'm recently changing and I want to kind of just share with you guys about it. So what started this, there was uh, one video and then a response video from two other YouTubers, but the topic was the problem with Gary Vaynerchuk. And if you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, a bunch of us probably do. Uh, loud mouth, he knows that he's a smart guy, no, like no doubt about it. Um, but I have a little bit different mindset than him. And so that's what the, these other videos were talking about. So one YouTube channel was uh, Graham Stephan and the other was Meet Kevin. And they were kind of giving their own views of Gary Vaynerchuk's point of view toward basically life. So this might be a long one guys because this really did hit me and I am beginning to change from who I'm constantly changing and I think that's what we all should do. You know, it's really a journey of personal development. And um, but anyway, so uh, and by the way, I'll leave those uh, video links in the description if you want to check them out. I think they're very, very important. Now, so getting into it and I'm not bashing Harry Vaynerchuk at all. He's the man. He's a smart dude, and I agree with a lot he has to say because we have to do what we have to do to get our what we want in our lives, and all of us are different. And that's the main thing. All of us are different. We're human beings and emotional creatures. And the fact that what Gary Vaynerchuk talks about is grinding your face off every single second of every single day I don't agree with. Now, yes, we have to go for what we love, what we enjoy, and what makes us happy, but there's a point where, because we're human beings, we break down, crash, it's unhealthy, and it affects not only ourselves, but the ones around us that we love. Now, grinding for what we want to go for is a great concept, however, that every single second going in forever is it could work for some people however we all have to definitely realize every single person is different and we have different goals so doing that you might enjoy and love that which is great but thinking that and when you're not enjoying that is when it's a problem the fact is we have to think for ourselves understand what we want and have a balance of everything in our lives so we are happy so for me personally, let me give you a little background of where I come from and I never really went into it on this channel, like, at all. I mean, I kind of go into some things that I've done, of course, investing I talk about all the time. Um, but so it started when I was going to college because I was doing college and I had a job while going to college. And that's all I did. I went to school, I went to work, I slept. And I threw some food in there throughout the day. And that's all I did. Did I earn and save a lot of money? Yeah, I did. I ended up making six figures for myself. I have no debt and I have a future of becoming a millionaire. Now I'm proud of what I created and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this. There's a bunch of reasons. Um, but one of the reasons why I wanted to make this channel because I was just a normal person and I was able to do that. But I did this, I guess you could call it a grind. I went to school and work and just did that back and forth. That's it for five, oh, well, over five years, but five years. You know, I, it's not like I had free time, no friends, no free time, no fun. I got what I was going for. I was mainly focused on money, but would I recommend that? No, I wouldn't. During that time, I didn't have my own life. I was just going for what I believe was the right thing. I wasn't connecting with the world, which is a good and bad thing, I guess you can see, depending how you look at it. But I didn't know who my true self was. Now, do I regret that? No, because 
I did learn along the way. I did learn that's not the way to go about life. And that's just for me. It could be different for other people. Kind of sticking with the theme. But for me, that's not what could bring real happiness. And that's what I think all of us are trying to go for. So if I didn't go through or learn that stuff, then I wouldn't be in the position I am now. Like I'm happy where I am financially. It was difficult to get here, but now I'm able to explore my actual life now. So now when I learned that I have to put myself before a lot of things, because I think the idea of selfishness usually has a negative connotation. Like, oh, that person's selfish and that's bad. When in reality, yeah, you can't be an asshole and always only think about yourself, but you do have to focus on yourself sometimes because if you don't help yourself, first of all, no one else is going to help you. They might try, but only you could help yourself as much as you because yeah, you might try to help other people, but it's still their life. So if you help yourself first, and which is extremely important, which I never did. When you help yourself first, then you're able to help other people. So you kind of have to be selfish so you could be selfless. Again, these are my thoughts. This is what I believe someone else could be different because honest, people are gonna disagree with that. And that's fine because we're all entitled to our own beliefs which apparently, I'm getting mad right now, but apparently that's a problem because apparently opinions are bad these days and they're not. You could think a certain way, I could think a certain way, and that's fine. So that was my backstory, whether that was long or not, but going back to the idea of Gary Vaynerchuk and grinding your face off, that's good, that's great because we do have to go for things that we need. You do have to work to get what you want. However, realize that there's also an unhealthy amount of it. What I learned, if you keep going for something, it, sometimes it becomes a chore and you lose that passion. It doesn't be, it, it's not that spark inside of you anymore. You just do it because you have to do it and that's the wrong way to go about it. So if it starts becoming a chore, this will also limit the amount of time that you would do this for. Instead of trying to do it for your entire life, that might be shortened for like a couple of years. And that's not what we need. You want to continue to do this because it is your passion. It is what something you love to do. So we need to take a step back. We have to understand that we shouldn't follow anyone really. We have to decide what we want for ourselves. Because if you follow someone else, you're going for what they want and not yourselves. So following someone, Going for money is definitely unhealthy because there will always, be, well, maybe not in Jeff Bezos's side, um, but there is always more money to be made and you will never get there. You will never get all of it. So that's basically an unattainable goal. Comparing ourselves to other people is very deadly because there's always, again, maybe not in Jeff Bezos's situation, but there's always someone doing better than you. Always someone growing faster always something, someone who has more materialism, um, which is horrible, but there never compare yourself to anyone else. You should only compare yourself to your old self so you can see your progression. So honestly, I feel like a lot of us are just losing who we are and we don't know what we're going for. Um, and a lot of people just grind every second for the money and that's, that's not it. Gary Vaynerchuk says he grinds because he likes the process and that works for him. That's fantastic. Now, another very, very, very important concept that I hope everyone grasps, not everyone will, unfortunately, but I have to state that time is the most important commodity in our lives because we will never get it back. That second and that minute that just passed, you will never get back, unfortunately. If you're so, thank you for watching this video because you're training your you're constantly training your time for whatever else you're doing. So whether it's productive or not, we have to focus every single second. Which something I would suggest 
of going every single second for is something that you love. Now for me, what I do get upset about is those five years because I won't get that back and I didn't live my life. It helped me financially, but not like in any other way. And you know, I can't cry about it because that's never gonna change. So that's why we also have to look to our future and change that. Like, yes, we should look in our rear view mirrors to see where we come from, but living in the past is horrible. So yeah, Scary Vaynerchuk says we have to work harder. We have to do more things. That's because most of us do. Most of us watch TV, movies, Netflix, and which is a huge company, which obviously people have free time because of Netflix is such a huge company. Um, sports, just everything. Celebrities worrying about them. We have time for that. But then we complain that we don't have time for other things. So... Yes, we do have to grind to a certain extent, not 24 hours a day. So even if you, and Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this too, cause he says we do have to sleep, we do have to rest. Even if it's seven, eight hours, he wasn't talking about that and neither am I. What is important is what you do with those other 16 hours. And you might've just learned that I hate TV, movies, and sports. Uh, that's because if you ever heard of living vicariously, uh, real quick. It's like trying to live through something like watching TV sports and everything It feels like you're doing something if your team wins or some cool things happens in a movie But we have to be aware that's not our lives It might be exciting and feel like we're doing something but in reality We're not we're watching it. So I have a love-hate relationship with Gary Vaynerchuk. He's the man I, I agree with him However, his intensity, I do not agree with. And for me personally, at least. Um, and I just want people to understand that every single person is different. Do not follow Gary just because like he has where he has or you know whatever he says. You are different. You shouldn't follow him. You shouldn't follow me. You have to do what you believe. And like that kind of going to the American dream. It definitely has changed from the past, but I would never go for an American dream and I wouldn't suggest anyone to because why should I go for their dream when I want to go for mine? So you could despise me all you want. Leave me a thumbs down, that's fine. If you agree with something like this and have an open mind, leave me a thumbs up. Everyone is different. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like Gary Vaynerchuk? Do you disagree with some things? It's okay to disagree with some things. Leave, let me know in the description. Well, not the description, the comments. And also let me know what you think of my thoughts for this or this type of video because I like this deeper thought process um, type of thinking. You know, it's, I don't always want to talk about money and everything. That's why I call it real life money. Money is very important, but it's not everything. It's also about life. And I've been focusing a lot on stocks and you could grow your wealth and money in the stock market, but that's not everything. There's more out there. More money's not going to make you happier. Sorry to burst your bubble. Um, which the stock market might burst soon. <laughs> and that, I think that's kind of it, guys. Those are the main points I wanted to get that get out there. There's probably a bunch more, um, but I think this was very important. It definitely touched me because I started to, I'm gonna continue going on. It's gonna be a long video, whatever, um, but it's meaningful for me. But the fact that I was starting to change and I felt like I needed to just rack out videos for you guys, and I love you guys, and I love doing this, but, it started feeling like a chore and I didn't like that. So I'm going back to my roots, why I started this. And for some videos, I might wanna start talking about life in general. That's something that I really enjoy because again, going back to the money thing, it's important, it's not everything. And it might not be popular videos talking about that stuff, either motivational or eye-opening, I like like just being enlightened, personal development. Um, so we'll see. If you guys like that stuff, let me know. So thank you so much for watching this, whether I was ranting or not, that's okay. Uh, just getting my thoughts out there. I appreciate all of your watch, you, you guys' views, 
any subscribers there, appreciate all of you because that's why I do it. So that's my response to if Gary Vaynerchuk has some issues with him. Again, I'm not hating him. He's the man. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.